I'm Lady Aska and today I want to talk about a little program called the VRM Post Transmitter. This program will allow you to pose your avatar into different poses while capturing your face over in VC Face. And the best part, you don't have to use Unity for it. Let's jump right in. First, you have to have the newest version of VC Face installed. Remember, this program doesn't have auto update, which means whenever there is a new version, you would have to make a fresh install of the newest one. After that, we download the VRM post transmitter. Don't forget to donate to the creator if you really enjoy the program. But besides that, it's completely free and the donation is not mandatory for the download. Links are, as always, down in the description. Setting everything up is pretty easy. You will open the VRM poser and add in your model by picking it from any location from the computer. Then you load it in by hitting that load button. Now you can start making a few cool poses already by moving the gems. Different than with other apps or programs of this type, you move the camera by pressing the WASD keys and move the camera angle with your right mouse button. If you watched my video about posing in Vroid Studio, this should look pretty familiar and works nearly the same, with the amazing difference that you can save your poses and even tie them to hotkeys, so you can trigger them on command. But now comes the best part. You can transport these poses into VC Face. To do that, we open up VC Face and load the model in that we want to use here. That doesn't have to be the same model, by the way, as long as you don't use something completely different model-wise. It will still transfer just fine. To activate the transfer function, we go to General Settings and activate the point that says OSC VMC Receiver. Don't activate the Send Data with OSC VMC protocol above it. Otherwise, your avatar will be stuck in a loop. And while that's probably hilarious for a few minutes, I bet we all would rather prefer if the avatar would just get into pose. Similar to what we did last time with the tracking receiver for Meow Face, we can now set the port for the tracker, which is shown in the program itself and is usually 39538 or 39539. After applying that in BC Face, we also enable face tracking, which means our tracking, if it comes through a webcam or tracking app, will still be active, while the body tracking comes from the VM poser. Now we should switch back to the VRM poser and start tracking. Together with hotkeys, you could now switch to different poses on command. And I highly recommend getting a stream deck for that in the long run, so you don't interfere with your set blend shapes, which you can still trigger normally, or any other keys that are already in use for something else. You can also change the poses live, which means whatever you do in the post transmitter will be transferred in the same moment to VC Face. Another cool trick is to smooth the bones with the slider in VC Face, which results in a little animation, like here from face to sit. But you can experiment with many more. Keep in mind, whenever you adjust these sliders here, that you have to set a pose in the transmitter again before you can continue triggering it. Have fun trying it out and create some unique and creative poses with your avatar. See you next time and I hope you have a wonderful day.